So maybe you've been trying to figure out how to create designs within your online course business or your digital product business. Maybe you need worksheets or you're looking to design your course portal or you need the social media to really help promote your webinars or your challenges, but you're feeling overwhelmed because you're spending countless hours or hiring expensive graphic designers to be able to design this stuff for you, only to find that you still need a ton more stuff. Well, I'm gonna be sharing over the next 14 days how you can actually build out your course assets and make them absolutely gorgeous that are in alignment with your brand and your business that are professional to help you to be able to quickly get this done and not have to spend a fortune or spend countless hours. So over the next 14 days, I'll be sharing about one of my favorite tools, Canva, and how you can utilize it in your online course business and create these beautiful assets that you have been wanting to create. Okay, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Misfits, Brittany Darrington here, and welcome to the Corporate Misfit Club channel, where we help female coaches, course creators, and consultants to build a freedom-bound business, sharing their expertise, and also creating automation online. Now, before we dive into today's challenge, where we're gonna dive into how you can actually get started with having your presentations on Canva and utilizing ScreenShare for your online courses, I want you to check out our new workshop where you can be able to learn how to create absolutely gorgeous graphic designs for your online course business or digital products and be able to do it without having to spend countless hours or having to spend a fortune on graphic designers. So you can find that below and I'll walk you through how you can get set up successfully and start making headway when it comes to graphics in your online course business. Now make sure that you hit that subscribe button so that you could be notified of some of our upcoming videos. Okay, let's talk all about screen shares for your online course coaching membership or digital products. So doing screen shares is a really powerful way for you to be able to present to your audience and also provide a visual. It's a really great way for your students to not only hear you, but also see what you're talking about, where you can provide bullet points or examples or graphics to help them to imagine and start to understand what you're teaching on and how they can overcome that situation. Now, one of the reasons why I absolutely love PowerPoints is because sometimes when I am listening to only audio, I can get really bored. But when I'm looking at something visually, it also allows me to learn on the level that I like to learn on, which is a visual learner. Now, there's some people who can just listen to audio and get what they need, which is perfectly fine. But a lot of people do enjoy being able to take notes and make sure that they're on the same page as you. So having that visual presentation can really help. And here's the great part. Canva has a great add-on where you can now start to utilize this platform to record your screen shares. So maybe you're making a PowerPoint presentation for your online course, and maybe you want to show your face, but you don't necessarily want to only be face to camera. You want to have your face on the camera and you also want to include your PowerPoint slides at the same time. So the great part about Canva is that you'll be able to one, design all of your slides. The second thing is that you're also going to be able to actually film on Canva. You can share a live link where your audience can come and watch you and you don't have to worry about having all of these webinar platforms to be able to present this. And three, you're also going to be able to record this so that you can download it and upload it into your course portal. So I'm gonna take you behind the scenes on how you can do all of these three steps, how you can use Canva for presentation and ultimately be able to start building out your online course and creating your video lessons to help your students achieve their results. Okay, let's go ahead and go behind the scenes and dive right in. So in order for you to get started on Canva, it's important that you have a Canva account. You can set one up for free or go with a pro version. Now, once you have created your Canva account, you're then going to see a screen similar to what I'm looking at right now. In order for us to create a presentation and be able to host it live or host it as a pre-recorded type of webinar or presentation and download it, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to where it says create a design. We're gonna get started with presentation, which is 16 by nine. And once we click presentation, then we will start to see several different templates for us to be able to work with off to the side. 
it will be on our left hand side and then you'll see a blank canvas. Now, if you want to start from scratch, you are more than welcome to do so. But my goal is to help you to get more time back and be able to design quickly without having to spend so much time in design mode. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to currently grab one of the templates that Canva has. When I click on this, I see that there are 16 pages that I can utilize from this overall collection. If I believe it's a good fit for me, I'm going to move forward with applying all 16 pages or I can drag and drop one page at a time. Now, in order for me to make this look more along the lines of my own brand in my business, it's important for me to change the colors, change the text, maybe the imagery and things to make it look more in alignment with what I'm doing in my overall brand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to change the colors of your presentation. First thing you'll want to do, if you already have all your slides in place, you will easily change your colors at once. But if you're doing it one by one, then what will happen is you will need to update your template colors one by one or wait until you have all your text in. And then once you're ready to change the colors, you can start to change it as a whole versus individually. So let's say I want to change this block to be my brand colors. Again, I already have my brand kit in place. If you don't have a brand kit already set up and you're just getting started, all that good stuff, then I will leave a link for you in the comment section for you to be able to get properly set up with your brand kit. So I am going to start plugging in my brand colors. I just selected the colors that I'm looking to change, which was that black. This is one of my brand colors. I'm also going to change this taupe. I'm gonna make this one of my lighter pinks since that's one of our colors. I'm also going to change this text currently right now. This text is not my color. Well, it is, but it's just not gonna do well with the background. So I'm gonna change this and make it black. I'm gonna also change the overall text. So I'm just highlighting the area and now I'm going to change the text. I'm just gonna grab another text right now. Rear timeline. And I'm going to change this, my presentation. I'm also going to change this little line element. And if I didn't want to have it, I could just delete it like that, just hit delete, or I can change the color. So I'm going to change the color. We're going to add some yellow in because that is part of our brand. And I'm going to change this text at the bottom. Okay, so now I'm gonna change the imagery because I obviously, that's not me. And if I wanted to have me or someone from my team, then I'm gonna go to photos. I'm going to select some of the photos that I might already have. So I went to uploads. And then what I'm gonna do, this is a background remover. So if you're utilizing the free version, you might not have the background remover. Just note if that is the case, then what you'll want to do is just make sure that you find a photo that already either has the background fully removed for you, or it's more of a clean photo to where it's not clashing with a lot of stuff happening. So I'm going to, going to remove my background by going to edit image, going to background remover. Once I click on that, I'm then going to be removed. My computer does some weird funky things. So I'm gonna just kind of hide my computer out the way. I'm going to just drag the corners so I can remain. It looks like my fingers are like going off the screen. So this might not be the best picture, but you can kind of get the hints. I might just move me completely down. There we go. I'm going to remove that back image so that it's not clashing anymore. I'm just going to make this a little bit larger. So there you see, I have made this to be more alignment with my overall brand and my look. Now you can go and do this for all of your templates. So if you wanna add on more, all you have to do is go to the plus sign and then you can start adding in more templates. So you'll go to the templates area and you can, you can select which ones you would like to move forward with. Now here's what I do because I have created a huge library of templates that are more in alignment with course creators and coaches and all of that good stuff. This is what I do. Whenever I'm creating a webinar, I go to our Course Creator Pro uh, membership. So we have a ton of different uh, templates that you can basically jump into and utilize. So we have tons of different templates. 
And ultimately, whenever I'm creating a webinar or any type of presentation, I go to my webinar and presentation slides. Once I click on that, I have some options to choose from. And then what I do is I'm gonna click on this and it will show me kind of a little bit. And I am going to say, yes, let's download that template here. And now what I do is I go to use template. And now I have templates that I am utilizing and I can update. So as you can see, there are several different templates that I can start updating and utilizing for my webinar or my registration page or whatever it may be. So you can see that there. Now, all I have to do is either change the imagery. Let's go to a photo. Let's say I want to change this photo. I just drag and drop it in. I can change the colors by hovering over it, change the colors to my brand. Let's change that. Boom. And I can also change the text to be my text. I can also change this right here. I can change any imagery, any element associated with this page. So Course Creator Pro, my overall Canva membership that has all of the templates that you're gonna need as a course creator or a coach, you can go and check that out or you can utilize the free templates that Canva actually provides and allows you to be able to just update and edit to your overall business. So if you know what you're looking for, you already have an idea, cool, you can utilize that. And if you aren't familiar with kind of what to include on your slides or, or how they should look, you can always utilize Course Creator Pro. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to talk about hosting a live presentation or even a pre-recorded presentation. So now that we have the presentation slides, let's go ahead and go into share mode. Let's go to share. And what we're gonna do is now we're going to select underneath copy link, we're going to select present. So when we present, there are types that we can choose from. We can do a standard presentation where we go at our own pace. We can do autoplay, present interview. We can also present and record. Most likely, if you were looking to do a pre-recorded video and download this to just downloading it to your computer and uploading it into your course portal, then what you'll do is you can present and record. If you don't want to record yourself, you can just do present interview, whatever works best. So I'm going to go to where it says present and record, and I'm going to go to next. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to recording studio. It's going to ask if you want to set up your mic and camera. Currently my actual camera is not on, but I do have my mic on. I have my Yeti mic on and you can select which mic you're going to use. If you have a specific camera that you're going to use, and then you can start recording. Any notes that you had about that particular presentation will appear here. And now what happens, I'm going to go ahead and hit start recording. Hey everyone, welcome to my presentation and let's get started. So I just did that and once I'm done, I'm then going to hit end recording. One thing you'll notice up here is that there's a timer to kind of keep you on track so you know how long your presentation is. Uh, you can also hit pause if you need to take a break or something and then you can end your recording. Now, if you needed to change your slide, you would hit that little button back there. But once you're done, it is then going to upload your recording and you can do a few things. So one, you can download it, you can save it and exit. You can also copy it and check it out and make sure it's to your liking and make sure things are good to go. So here is the presentation. It's still probably loading, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. Hey everyone, welcome to my presentation and let's get started. So I can share this link with customers if I wanted to. If I didn't necessarily have like a course portal, um, I can also download this to where I can utilize the pre-recorded video and upload it to my course portal or my membership or my coaching program, or I can disregard it completely. So you get to decide which option works best for you. Just know if you're going to share this link, no one has to worry about signing in. They're just able to see that video instantly and keep it moving. So there you have it, Corporate Misfits. I hope that you utilize Canva to create presentations and start being able to get out of this phase where you feel like you can't make your videos. 
you don't have to do only face to camera. I know that's really appealing because a lot of people are really great at it and they do it well and people want to see your face. But one of the things that you can do is you can do a presentation slide, show your face at the same time and also record it. And you can do that all within Canva. So go ahead and get started with creating your slides as well as check out Course Creator Pro, see if it might be a great fit for you so you can get some pre-designed templates. And if not, you can work with the templates that Canva is providing you and see if that's a good fit. Okay, corporate misfits, so there you have it. We talked all about how you can utilize Canva to create your online presentation, to record it, and also share it with your students. Now, don't forget to check out the free workshop we have for you. You can find that below where you can learn more about how you can design in your online course business without having to waste countless hours or spend a fortune on graphic designers. You can find that below. And also leave a comment below letting me know if you utilize Canva in your business for your online online courses or your coaching program or membership or even digital products because I know this platform is absolutely powerful and I want to help others to be able to learn about it and also utilize it in their business so that they can grow and scale. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Make sure that you like and subscribe and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video. Also, make sure you leave a comment letting me know how you utilize Canva in your business. And also don't forget to check out our free workshop, how to create beautiful graphic designs for your online course business without having to spend a fortune or countless hours trying to come up with your design. You can find that below. Okay, I'll see you next time.